Okay, Joe 508. Look, I put on a different shirt to make it seem like it's a different day, but it's not. Still Sunday, the 25th. Tomorrow is still Monday, the 26th, the first day of classes for summer 2023. So watch the previous videos, okay? Uh, they're all lined up in the same um, YouTube channel that is for this class, Joe 508, summer 2023. Um, it lays the groundwork for everything that we're doing. So um, so the last lecture, we talked about stress. I, I went over the, the kind of neurobiology and endocrinology, which is the connection to the hormones that get released into your bloodstream of the stress system. We talked a little bit about the, the psychological aspects, and then the videos really get into the social science connection to psychological stress and you know where you are in the pecking order social stratus social economic status and um, how that impacts your overall well-being and your your um, you know perception of how well you fit in and how well you're going to make it all that the psychological aspects of stress okay awesome all righty so check those out okay they're um they're uh, listed right here okay so this is how to get an a and this is the lecture that i just did right here okay um, it shows you also how to how to how to complete the quiz. It shows you also how to execute the discussion. So you should be all dialed in now. All right, my friends. So let's go back into our weekly assignments. All right, I'm not gonna. This is gonna be a much shorter video. That one was long. This one is short. Okay, and uh, so we discussed the biological phenomena of the last lecture. This lecture right here. This video is gonna go right under here, and then I put this little graphic in here to help you understand this molecular genetics. Oh my God, that sounds horrible, doesn't it? No, it's really how we are able to turn on and off the different genes, all the different recipes in the cookbook that we call our DNA, okay? We have 23 pairs of chromosomes, one side from mom's side, the other side from dad's side, okay? And every single cell in your body has the identical 23 pairs of chromosomes. So it has the entire cookbook in there, but what makes a brain cell and a skin cell and a muscle cell, the type of cell they are, depends on which recipes you're reading in the cookbook. It depends which genes are turned on and which genes are turned off, okay? And the whole science that examines what genes are turned on and what genes are turned off are called is called, sorry, epigenetics, okay? So the genetics here is the genes, which is the cookbook, and the epigenetics is the decision made by the influences from the outside world in terms of what's being turned on and what's being turned off, okay? We have these developmental signals, okay? Um, so we, as we go from uh, a sperm and an egg, okay, into the embryo, okay, the fetus, every step of the way, the influences around those different tissues that are growing change and it begins to turn on and off the different genes, okay? So that's the first thing that we can think about. But hey, how we live there, our lives is also important and that's what Sapolsky was telling us about, okay? Um, and they also, um, uh, Dr. Rayburn from Stanford talks about, um, or she Berkeley, I can't remember, but um, um, she talks about also how the, the very end of the chromosomes is altered by the stress hormone. That's a whole different area of research, okay? Um, those are called the telomeres, and when the telomeres shorten, cells don't divide as quickly, so you can't replenish your tissue as well, and importantly, those telomeres on the cap protect the chromosome from being exposed to um, mutagens, okay? So shortened telomeres, stress, is also an increase for risk for cancer, okay? It's never a good thing, all right? Let's go back into, okay, the nurture versus nature, and that's what this is all about, okay? So um, what I'm gonna talk about right here and these two figures right here is gonna relate to this video that you're gonna watch that is explained in this very simple, the conversation article, okay? This is the link, it is working, this is the PDF, and they do an overview of this lecture that was done a few years back that is still spot on because it really guides you through which genes are turned on and turned off and how our lifestyles are influenced by that, okay? It's how nurture affects the playing out of nature, which is your genetics, okay? So it's super cool stuff, all right? All right, so we come back up here, we're gonna look at here. So this is your chromosome, 23 pairs in every single cell in your body, all right? 
we got that, okay? There's a lot of focus on the brain, okay? What genes are turned on and turned off? What proteins are produced and what proteins are not produced, okay? Sapolsky talked about, okay, the um, special receptor to cortisol, okay? So if you're exposed to lots and lots and lots of stress, okay, it changes the expression of the gene for the production of the cortisol receptor, the glucocorticoid receptor, okay? Or said differently, okay, it changes the, um, the recipes that are being made. Fewer recipes, fewer receptors, more problems in terms of stress, okay? And that's what that's all kind of about. All about. So we see here, what influences what's going to turn on and off the genes? I talked about development, okay? So inside your mom's uterus, okay? As the fetus is developing, the little microenvironment of the different areas of the, of the tissue begins to change, right? Um, you know, going from two cells to an embryo, there's a lot of work going about that decision-making, these stem cells, okay? But the stem cells all of a sudden start finding their direction, and voila, we have a human being, we have a, a living being, okay? We also have environmental insults, okay? Chemicals that can change the epigenetics. Turning on and off switches that can cause cancer, that can cause heart disease, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Uh, we can have direct mutations of the genes that also cause that. That's a whole different ballgame, all right? Drugs and pharmaceuticals, okay? Things that you put in your body change the way genes are put on and off. Aging, okay? So one of the um, uh, special chemicals that we put on to our, um, uh, our genetics is called a methyl group, DNA methylation. As you get older, your degree of methylation goes down. What the methylation is, is it's a break, okay? And so that means more and more abnormal genes get expressed as you get older that leads to things like cardiovascular disease and, and, um, and cancer and stuff like that. Diet and stress, okay? So um, all these influence the epigenetics, okay? So how does it all work, guys, right here? So we're showing you a single chromosome, okay? And within the chromosome, okay, is the DNA all wrapped up, okay? And then these are called, this is called chromatin right here. And then if we look within the chromatin, there are these globs of DNA that is wrapped around spools. It's all about compressing it. It's like every cell has over six feet of DNA. We got to compress it into just uh, one, 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 one hundred thousandth of, of a meter. Okay. It's got to be tiny. It's got to be tiny. Okay. And, um, and this is done by compacting it. Okay. So, um, these aggregates of these spools called nucleosomes, it's estimated that, that um, um, uh, a single nucleus will have maybe 500,000 of these nucleosomes, okay? That's a lot, okay? So maybe a million of these little spools with the DNA is wrapped around. And depending on, on uh, which one has this tag right here, okay, this is an epigenetic factor, a methyl group, there's another one that's beyond the, the scope of this class that is really influenced by what we eat and how much we eat, okay? It's called an acetyl group. So we have methylation and acetylation, and both of these regulate whether or not the DNA gets unwound. And so when you unwind the DNA right here, suddenly, hey, it's like the cook station is open, okay? Suddenly now you can make the recipe, the messenger RNA, that will go to a different part of the cell to make the protein, and there you go, okay? So we have good reasons for it, and then we have bad reasons that influence it. And the bad things that happen can lead you to high risk for cancer, autoimmune disease, mental health disorders, diabetes, on and on and on. So this is a, an amazing field of, um, of study. Um, we have our very own Baroness Benayoun at the Gerontology Center that does incredible work in this arena. Please talk to her if you get a chance, okay? So that's how this all works. So if we have stress hormones like cortisol, it's going to do the same thing. It's going to impact the access to the DNA in bad ways, okay? Uh, remember the inverted U, okay? It's in good ways when it's low levels of stress, but when it's chronically elevated, then it's in bad ways. That's where we're at, where this, the field of study is at. Pretty amazing stuff, okay? And then there's this whole concept that when, we, when you guys watch... Um, this video right here and read this article, 
that how the influence, the environment of our cells um, is passed on from generation to generation, okay? So, you know, they're, they're picking on mom, but you know, it happens with dad as well. Let me tell you, it doesn't matter the environment that our sperm is exposed to or the environment that the eggs are exposed to. Either way, it's gonna flip on and off different genes, okay? Then the egg and the sperm fuse, okay? And you have a growing fetus, okay? So the fetus now, all its cells are flipping on and off based on whether mom, as they show here, is smoking, what she's eating, is she high stress, on and on and on, okay? But they also show right in here is when you're a fetus, okay, your ovaries, okay, are also being exposed to the same thing. So the fetal ovaries that have hundreds of thousands of egg cells, okay, you actually start you're, you're born with you know, close to 200,000 egg cells in your ovaries, and then you begin to shed them, you know, all the way until you have no more when you go through menopause, all right? So what this then says to me, okay, is so now her body, the daughter, has all these epi epigenetic changes that are going to influence her physiology, put her at risk for certain diseases, diseases or protect her from certain diseases, and then as well, she has now a child, so this would be the grandson or granddaughter. In this case, it's a daughter. Also has a lot of those switches turned on and off, okay? So this is the scary kind of concept, okay? But the good news is this is a very slow, gradual process, okay? So if you're eating crappy food and stress out for five, 10 years, then yes, this is gonna have a dramatic influence on your overall health but it's reversible. The key thing is it is reversible within some limitations. So you can improve your diet, okay? You can meditate, you can exercise, you can do all the things that we know are good for you. And what's been shown in terms of the laboratories like Berenice Ben Ayun's laboratory is these very switches that were turned on or off during bad external stimuli, during bad nurture can then be reversed so that you're going to have a better outcome in terms of the cell's performance, okay? That's what that's all about, okay? Very cool. So this right here, this video, okay, explains it just like I did. It's really worth watching, you know. It was from a few years back, but it's still spot on. And what I liked about it is this video is highlighted in this article that explains everything as well, okay? So you just, you read the article, you watch this video. The video is about 18 minutes long. Not a big deal, okay? The article is just a page and a half. It's very, very fun, easy reading, okay? Um, we have the PDF file right here, just in case you're having issues. Like I said, you can go right in here and as well. And I'm gonna go in and look at the article, the URL. Some cases you have to click right here, okay? And here's the article from the conversation, okay? And again, the article is epigenetics can stress really change your genes. This is from 2016. Totally, totally reliable, okay? So they talk about, again, what Sapolsky talked about in his, his documentary about the infamous Dutch famine and what happened during World War II. And then they followed these people down the line and they looked and they saw that not only their children but their grandchildren were impacted, okay? And this is the field of epigenetics. So this is the video that then you, you'll watch right here. And she goes into amazing detail very clear, very understandable, very worthwhile, okay? All right, so like I said, it's a very short article, okay? And then, yes, we can fix this, okay? And that's the bottom line. Like I said, the second half of this class is all about interventions. This is what your corporate marketing pamphlet is going to be about. It's going to be amazing stuff, guys, so it's really cool. All right, cool. Back to where we were here, all right? So watch the video, okay? Uh, like I said, she kind of goes through what I was talking about, but it, 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 you know, this is her expertise, so she does a much better job than me. Um, to get more background, okay, this is a cool website, okay. You can look at the effect um, of uh, nurturing and psychological effect of stress on your um, on your genetics right here, your epigenetics. I'm sorry. You look at nutrition and how that affects it. Um, this is a real quick. These are the three highlights. These are the other ones you can look at as well, okay. And so to get there, you just go right in here. Click on that, it takes you to this website. You click on this, <clears throat> and then it's a real quick, again, overview of what our epigenetics all about. DNA about contains the instructions and, for building uh, all the parts of the body. All right. But DNA is only half the story. 
The DNA in our bodies is wrapped around proteins called histones. Awesome. So we have about a million of these histones, believe it or not, in every single nucleus, in every single cell. All right. And so there's a, a, a lot of variation that can happen in the theme of tagging it so that it opens up so you can read the recipe. And once that influence is over, it winds back up and you can't read that recipe anymore. You can't make the new protein. So that's what that's all about. All right. So check it out. You know, have fun with that website. That, that's what that's all about. OK. All right. Very cool. So then again, you open this. OK. And you uh, perform the quiz like I showed you last time. And then you come down here and we're going to discuss the sequence of, event, sequence of events that goes from a psychological stress to a change in the function of DNA. Epigenetics, guys. There you go. Okay. All right. So um, describe what's going on, your knowledge of the biology, okay, um, in terms of these switches, okay, that we're talking about. I mentioned two, okay, the most important that the one they're talking about in, in, in this article and in that video is methylation, okay, which, by the way, um, goes down as we get older, you know, and uh, there's variability out there, okay? The acetylation is the other one I talked about, okay? Um, and come up with an epigenetic idea, okay, uh, of, of what happens when you have frequent bouts of depression, what that might do, all right? Just have fun with it, guys, okay? All right, so that, my friends, is it. Um, I told you it was going to be a short video this time, and it is, okay? So um, good luck with this week. And please, you know, contact me, 949-292-5198 if you have an issue, or Julie, 949-292-5199. Um, just follow the instructions. You guys are going to do great. It's going to be a fun class. All right? So fight on. We'll see you next time.